downtown Broadway coming along. It's a beautiful, beautiful little city. Everywhere you look. That's how they strengthened it. Final stop of the day, the English Garden, for yet another beer and apple strudel. Of course, you know. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a Discovery Flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> I still gotta figure out what that means. What? Herzlich willkommen. Welcome here in uh, Danningo. <laughs> 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 mm. Prost. <laughs> A cool shot here. A lot of construction. This is the Befeldherrn uh, Halle. Befeldherrn Halle. Befeldherrn Halle. Ja, ja. Befeldherrn Halle. Geschicht mit. Ich liebe Munich. Und hier ist das Bayerischer Hof. Bayerischer Hof, wo die. Tom Forens, Tom Forens, ja, 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 mit Amerika, also der Präsident, ja, 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 und so, ja, Bayerischer Hof, ja. Das ist ein Hof, ist Haus, babe. Und das ist Hof. Much uh, architecture. Wow.
downtown Bad Reichenhall. It's a beautiful, beautiful little city. Oh, first Chevrolet we've seen in a while. <laughs> Star River goes through Munich. Hey, okay. Debbie's happy we finally made it to the Deutsches Museum. So, Tuesday morning. Interesting, they don't have a clock up there, they have a barometer. Buried. <laughs> we'll find our way to the front door and check this out. Very beautiful setting though along the river. The willow trees hanging over. All the changes happening. Bridge area. Oh, the museum. It's flexing a little bit. Feel it. different kind of turbines and of course there is the aircraft turbine pretty impressive looking uh, exhibit here at the Deutsches Museum where's the Mac Daddy Turbo fan. Not to be confused with a jet. Turbo fans have a very high bypass, which means a lot of air comes across the fan to be used for thrust, not jet blast. So here is a cutaway of the A350. Look at the carbon fiber thickness there versus this aluminum thickness and all the structure here and here. I mean, just simplified and lighter. They're so efficient, fuel efficient. The Yonkers. <laughs> Got 
how they did the metal back then. That's how they strengthened it. Put the ribs in it to strengthen it. That's pretty neat. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Here we are back at the old market that we met Helmut and Crystal last time here in Germany. Lots of stalls, kind of like your flea market back at home, but great. They have lots of food stalls and beer and pretzels and, you know, rolls, stuff like that. Wives yelling at husbands, you know to get off the video but I don't have a lot of one-on-one -on -one time here in Germany so I just thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, get you some shots of this pretty cool flea market type area down in right down near uh, Marienplatz Glockenspiel the, you know, basically the city center of Munich so we could probably find just about anything here including probably some souvenirs and stuff. So we'll look around here. What do you think? Uh, the weather finally cleared up. Our last full day in Munich. You can see the sun shining on the Glockenspiel. Why was it like this all week? <laughs> it's everywhere you look. Wow. Amazing architecture here. So, You've seen us walking through the English Garden uh, throughout this week. The English Garden was actually developed by the same people who developed uh, and conceived Central Park in New York. Just a giant natural area in the middle of Munich. And it, what's amazing is there's enough trees and enough vegetation out of here, you just can't even hear the city. Listen real close, I can't hear any cars maybe way in the distance but you got all this green area for people to spread out walk exercise it's very unusual to see uh, overweight people in munich we're shocked but now i see why they're out there exercising um they're enjoying the park debbie's yelling at me for saying that too loud <laughs> There's people out here. They're they're out here on a sunny day. Rainy, not so much. But today, final stop of the day, English Garden, for yet another beer, and apple strudel. Of course, you'll notice the beer is not served in plastic cups. No, we get a glass cup and a token. So we return our token. We get our credit back for our mug. Everything is in glass. That's the way it should be, right? With beer? I think so. Wow. Well, that beautiful sunny day would end our Oktoberfest fun and our visit to Bavaria and Dortmund. It was now time to get back to the airport, meet our beautiful, great, big 747 chariot once again that would take us back home. I sure hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of Germany meeting Helmut, and maybe you even kind of 
live vicariously through us and tasted a little of that German Oktoberfest beer as we did. If you've been enjoying the channel, we sure hope you'd like, subscribe, and you know, it only takes a second. It doesn't cost a doggone thing. You're gonna wanna stay as we have exciting trips coming, including heading back to this area of Europe. This time we're gonna be going to Switzerland. We really appreciate you coming along. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.